Okay, so every once in a while something just crazy crazy comes comes across my uh, possessions in here in my little sack shop. So today it's a night early 1970s Selmer Bundy alto sax in just unbelievable condition. It looks like it's never been played. So this is in this really unique, it's like a baked on enamel finish. It just won't scratch. And uh, I've seen a couple of them where they're smashed and, and they'll crack. It's such a, it's like a current powder coating, like a baked on. And it's just indestructible as far as the finish. Um, it looks like, I mean, it's just crazy. Normally by this time, the felts are all shot and the nickel's all been uh, kind of fogged up from age. Usually this has all been pushed in. This has been pushed in. The screws are gone. Um, it's got the removable guard, and it looks like somebody, um, not myself, but it looks like a brand new overhaul on it. Um, the pads are just absolutely bland, brand new, corks are brand new, and again, the key work is just, it looks like it just came out of the box. This is a 50-year-old horn. Um, neck's never been damaged. You know, they've always been busted and just put a new cork on it. The cork was just rotten from age, but just absolutely crazy can condition and then the original case I've got a bunch of these cases and the latches are all rusty and and they're all either warped from heat or bent or busted or something and even the case is still in like brand new condition it's got the original mouthpiece got the original strap um, I don't know if it's got the original cork grease or not but um, it's serial number 571-834 so, which as far as I can figure out is, is early 1970s, but something about this early, early brass that just, it just sings. And for a student model horn, I mean, it's probably one of the best sounding horns. I've, I've got the tenor version, and I think I might even have the berry version of this in the same style of finish. And again, it's just crazy, crazy nice condition. Um, it looks pretty much like a brand new horn. It's the sturdiest, I mean, the strongest metal I've ever encountered on a saxophone. The new stuff just gets in cheaper, 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 cheaper. And... Um, the only there's one little pushed in uh, foot here, which is not even worth pulling out. Um, again, I wouldn't want to hit this with uh, the torch. It, it actually burns this finish on it. It kind of looks ugly. I call this like the work truck of the saxophone world. It just does a workhorse and you know I wouldn't hesitate for a minute putting this in the hands of a fourth grader because I know it'll come back at least you know hopefully in one piece. Um, maybe a dent or a, you know again the bells get pushed in but this thing is just absolutely nuts. Okay so I'm just going to play a little quickie. I, I just heard that on the, on the radio and I said okay this will be my next little demo. <laughs>
for sale for less than the price of the overhaul. I mean, we're talking like 650 bucks. And I'm sure the overhaul was like, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars uh, to do it at this quality. Again, all new forks, all new corks, uh, felts, pads, and nice big uh, plastic resonators. So it's going to sound, sound better than new. And again, just an absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy nice condition. And again, I've got the tenor version that's nowhere as near this clean, but it, it just sounds wonderful also. I mean, kind of old school ergonomics and everything, but um, they're great for the kids because the palm keys are a little closer and they can actually get their hands around them, um, which is kind of cool. It's, it's a reach for me, but not that big a deal. Anyhow, there it is. Selmer Bundy alto saxophone piece of history in muse, almost museum quality. If it just didn't have that one little bump, I might try to pull it out without uh, doing any harm, hopefully. So there it is. Tried to make it quick, and um, I just couldn't resist uh, putting this in the archives because it's just in absolutely stunning condition. And this thing will look like this 100 years from now with this finish on it. It's not going to tarnish. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. Anyhow, pretty cool. Um, Selmer Bundy, vintage, 19, early 70s. 